Welcome to Harvard Manage Mentor Spark. Harvard Manage Mentor Spark is a learning experience that is personalized to you and your interests. It helps you find leadership and management support materials in the moment when you need them. Learn from and share learning with others. Build the skills that will make you a successful leader at any level and stay up to date on the latest application focused thought leadership in business. Get started in HMM Spark. When you first access HMM Spark, you'll be prompted to select skills that you want to work on. These will be factored into suggested content for you, and you can update these skills at any time, which is what I'm doing now, since this is not my first time into HMM Spark. From there, I get to the home page. The HMM Spark home page is your home base for a lot of information. This includes all of the possible ways of getting the content you need and interacting with your colleagues within HMM Spark. I'm going to orient you to the home page first, and then we'll go through how you can use HMM Spark in different scenarios. When viewed full screen, the home page has three panels, and we're going to start with the left and the middle. If you can see on the left, my feed is highlighted. HMM Spark brings suggestions into your learning feed based on your personal actions in the site, your social networks actions, and relevance to the skills that you're interested in developing. As we go through the HMM Spark, I'll mention specific actions that will influence what is in your daily feed. Every day you will get 20 suggestions for content to read or watch in your feed. It's like a menu, pick what you like off of it, maybe make a daily goal to read or watch three items from your feed. When we go to each asset, there are a number of actions that you can take. If it looks interesting but you just don't have time right now, you can click on this bookmark icon here to save it for later. To share it with others, you just click this arrow. And if you have permissions to do this, you can share it with an individual or a specific group that has been created with an HMM Spark. When you share an item, you can write a message about why you're sharing it. If someone is not already in HMM Spark and they could have access to HMM Spark, you can just copy this link and send it as an email to them as well. If you have the right permissions in HMM Spark, you can assign content too, which makes it slightly stronger than just sharing it. When I click on this three dot menu, I see more options. And the two that I want to highlight right now are dismiss. If you don't ever want to see this content again in your feed and you don't want to save it, you can dismiss it and it won't come back. And then the other is set a goal. This takes it a step beyond just saving content. I'm assigning a due date for myself, which we'll see later in my saved content queue. If I've read this article and I want to show it as complete, then I need to mark it as complete to put it into my own collection of content. Marking an item complete gives you several additional options to weigh in on this content for others in your organization. You can share a key insight in the form of a comment, whether summarizing the most powerful takeaway or prompting others to read it. You can also give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, which can be seen by others in the organization. When you look at content, you can see how many completions, thumbs up, thumbs down, or shares it has before you go into it. And you can also see which people in your organization have taken those different actions. As you can see in HMM Spark, you're not learning in a vacuum. You're also learning from your colleagues and helping contribute to their learning as well. So I mentioned saving, sharing, and assigning. While items that have been saved, shared, or assigned come into your feed selectively, you also have specific queues where you can isolate that content. The saved queue shows the content you've saved to return to later. This is where you can see those due dates that I set for myself when I set a goal. The shared queue is content that your colleagues have shared with you. And the required and assigned queue is content that someone has felt is required viewing for you. You'll only see the assigned queue once content has been assigned and anyone can assign content to anyone depending on your organization's permissions.